everyone and welcome back to my channel and many blessings to everyone so um, a few people have asked me how you get rid of spell jars or poppets or things like that you have made that you no longer have use for now my personal view is that if it is something that's biodegradable, so maybe you've made a poppet out of um, material that can disintegrate and you've stuffed it with hair or whatever, you can cleanse that, thank it for its job and then bury it in the garden. The same as if you make... Um, protection bags or anything like that if they're biodegradable and you're able to give them back to mother earth do that after thanking them this was a jar that i made in 2021 a protection jar for the house i've now made a new one and hung it up as this one's gone a bit moldy and it no longer serves its purpose and to be honest when you make spell jars most of them do not last forever, in my opinion. They need to be renewed, especially if there's something like protection jars. Oh, sorry, I just bashed that. Protection jars for the house or um, for travel or whatever. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to deconstruct this and the process so what I've got I've got a jar to empty stuff in because I don't want a mess I've got a, a silicone mat here to wipe up any mess and I've got my trusty um, paleo santo and copal so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, hold this in my hand and I'm going to thank it for the job that it's done so I'm going to do that quietly to myself and I might cut this bit out or I might leave it in. So basically I've just thanked it for its job that it's done for the last few years. Told them I'm very grateful that their job is now finished and that I'm going to release them from that um, request that I put in there. And then I'm going to, um, I've got my thing here, I'm going to just cleanse it with the smoke, cleanse the bottle. And I'm just taking away all the energy that it was in, that I'd put in there for cleansing and protecting my house. So that now is all being cleansed away and cleansed away. And this is a good bottle, so I want to reuse this. Okay. So this might be a bit hard to deconstruct this one because it's full of wax, but let's give it a go. Just put this down here a bit more. Oh, that, well, that wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. And you can see why this is of no use anymore. It's gone mouldy. And this is why in the new one I used um, vodka rather than water when water mixes with herbs it goes mouldy and I don't think mouldy herbs do a job so I'm going to empty all this into here as best I can it's got a lot of nice um, crystals in there but I'm going to return those to the earth too crystals come from the earth and they will go back to the earth. The wax won't. The wax will go into the rubbish bin. Okay. So you can see we've got a nice mess in there now, mixed with lots of different gems and 
stones and herbs but I'm going to return that as it is to the earth so once again I'm going to cleanse this so I now remove all the energy for the purpose that this spell jar was put together returning it to the earth also um, cleanses and, and dissipates the energy but I'm also going to do it with this one as well like this and then I'm going to cleanse the inside of the jar again just to purify it and what I'll do is when I wash the jar out I will also cleanse it again with some more copal and then I will put it out into the sunshine so that's to go in my garden and you can see how it's become quite fungusy around the outside and this is um, another reason that you really need to renew your spell jars because really you want nice healthy stuff in there to um, do what you are so that's going to be put in some hot water just going to see oh look at that that came off very easily okay so this is what my jar looks like now I'm going to soak that in some nice hot detergent and I'm going to dispose of this in my garden. I have a place in my garden where I put all my herbs that I've used in spells and have um, redone them, you know, got rid of spells that I no longer need and have cleansed them and put them back into the earth. And eventually I'm going to make that a garden with herbs in that I can use in my craft. But at the moment I'm just burying all my old cleansed crystals and herbs. So that's how I do it. That was just a quick video. There is obviously more to it for some people. It can be as difficult or as simple as you like. Before I did this, I cleansed myself. I cleansed my workspace because my workspace is also where I paint and where I craft because it's the only space in the house. So when I use it for my magical workings, obviously I cleanse it. And I do use the cleansing spray that we made or I made on a different video. And this works really well if you can't use sage or incense to cleanse your space. This is just as good. So I might put a link down for this video so you can see if you're interested how to make your own. And this is also made with vodka that I um, steep my herbs in as a tincture. And then I put it in here and if I need it to be any weaker then... Only then do I add some distilled water. So I get distilled water from the supermarket next to where they sell all the washing powders and things because it's for your irons. So thank you guys for tuning in. Oh, my camera's gone blurry all of a sudden. I don't, oh, there we go. That's better. Thank you for joining me again in this quick tutorial. And until next time, many blessings and keep safe. Bye for now.